Hey faithful, welcome and welcome back to another video. Today I want to do some online window shopping. So <laughs> this video is kind of funny um, because I know last week I did just make a video talking about some new Barbie releases that I'm looking forward to or like new releases that have kind of come out recently where I'm like, oh, this feels like the brand is heading in a fun direction that I'm kind of enthused about. And today I feel like I'm going to do kind of the opposite. Today might end up being a shit on Barbie day. Now to be fair, I don't know for sure. Maybe it'll be better than I think it will be. But I realized recently that when I go to look for dolls at like a physical store, when I go to a Target or Walmart or wherever, I just kind of skip over the Barbie aisle because in my area, there's always like the Barbie aisle. And sometimes it's combined with like the Disney doll aisle. And then there's everything else in other aisles. And in general, like I just don't find myself going to the Barbie aisle unless I'm looking for something very, very specific that like I know what I'm hunting for. I'm ready to spot it on the shelf. And even that hasn't happened in quite some time. So I Honestly, I'm kind of weirdly unaware of what's going on with Barbie, like what is available on store shelves right now for the brand, which like, I mean, it makes sense because I don't buy a lot of more modern Barbies. I tend to buy more older Barbies, but it also feels weird to be like so deep into the doll collecting hobby and be so disconnected. So I thought it would be fun to go on Walmart's website and just see what's available. Could I have done this in store and like, would that have maybe been a little bit more interesting because like you're seeing it physically? maybe but also I have a crippling fear of filming in public like I just cannot I've tried a couple of times and I just can't do it so <laughs> we're doing some online window shopping instead of some in-person window shopping but the plus side is that there is probably going to be more online than what would be in stock at my local Walmart so you're probably going to get to see some more different things so um yeah that's what we're doing as we're cashing up with Barbie today taking a look at some of the things that are out for the brand right now and like I said I I have a nasty suspicion that a lot of it is going to be kind of bad. I might be making fun of some Barbies today, but maybe I'll be surprised and maybe I'll find some cool stuff. So that's what we're going to get up to. I'm going to be talking a lot about my opinions as per usual. They're just mine. You're allowed to disagree. Just be nice about it. But um, I think that's everything I need to say for the intro. So let's get shopping. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the landing page for the Barbie brand on Walmart's website. I actually normally don't like online shop like this either, which is really funny. Like I always just search the item that I want. I don't really browse online, but that's what we're doing for now. So there's like a lot of different categories here. And I think we're going to try to cover a couple maybe. I don't think I can get all of them. <laughs> that seems like it's probably too much to do. But let's go ahead and just like click dolls and see where that takes us. Oh. Already, I'm so interested. Hold on. <laughs> this one, this face, like, doesn't, it's very uncanny to me. Like, it's under Barbie, so I'm trusting that it's, like, a real Barbie. But tell me that that doesn't look like a fake. Like, that doesn't look like a knockoff that you would find online. That, like, that's just so jarring. Her microphone's fun, though. Like, the sparkly stand, that's kind of cute. Huh. Okay, sorry, that just like took me took me out of it for a second. That's like the whole point. It's like we're just going shopping. Like I'm I'm allowed to be chatty this video. <laughs> not that I'm not chatty in every other video, but like that really just the okay, fine, don't let me zoom. I like don't like when you can't pinch to zoom. I feel like that should happen even when there's like a zoom button. I just that's anyway. Yeah, face. Weird. Anyway. Um the first thing is a Chelsea. That's horrific. Her butterfly dress is kind of fun. I just like butterflies though, so I'm kind of biased towards it. Gosh, what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's something so funny about this. <laughs> like I I know that kids like to dress up as careers that they like might want to do when they get older. I know that that's a thing, but there's just something so funny about this itty bitty like toddler sized doll dressed up in a full pilot's outfit. <laughs> Oh, that's like low key horrific. It doesn't even fit well. That's it's really funny to me. I don't know why. There's still the Barbie movie dolls, which like I know there's a whole thing that the Ken doll has a new sculpt. That's so bizarre. Oh, interesting. The 2022 Dia de los Muertos Barbie. She's pretty though. I like the face paint on that one. I feel like the Barbie Dia de los Muertos dolls are usually pretty good. God, there's so many Chelsea's. I. Were there this many Chelsea's always? Has this always been a thing? I feel like there's so many now. Again, this styling head. Like, first of all, this is actually so cool. I feel like... 
much. I mean, not that I would have been paying attention as a kid because I didn't know to be paying as attention as a kid, but I actually want to like zoom in on this. I can't remember seeing a black styling head that like didn't have straight hair. Not to say that they don't exist. Again, I'm just saying like what I have seen, but I don't remember seeing that ever as a child. And now I like don't pay attention to styling heads at all because it's just like not my thing. So this is actually really cool to see. Like the face still feels uncanny. It feels weirdly like not quite Barbie to me. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's happening with that. But I actually really love the hair texture and like the colors and everything. This feels like a super cute, super fun styling head. 10 out of 10. Love that one. We've got something positive to say about Barbie. I still, okay, these like skate dolls from the Barbie movie, I don't have them. I really wanted them at first and then I was like, no, you don't really need them. I go back and forth on those constantly and like, I'm probably never going to actually buy them, but also that's a fun doll. We've got the dream besties popping up. I still like, I've seen those in person, but like, I don't know. I just don't like the outfit. So it's hard for me to justify buying them. Oh, that's kind of cute. The rhythmic gymnast. That's kind of fun. I like her outfit. Like, I feel like that's a cute little leotard. However, I do think it should be illegal <laughs> to sell Barbie dolls that are gymnasts that don't have at least a knee joint. Like, I, I understand that there might be a market still for like gymnast dolls that are a little bit more budget friendly. Like, I completely understand that. But the idea of a gymnast doll that like cannot bend most of her joints is so bizarre to me. Oop. Odeal Mermaid spotted. This face mold, like so many people love it and I totally get it. It's a beautiful, beautiful face mold. And like objectively the doll is pretty cute too, but I just really don't like the plastic everywhere. I know it's a swim toy, so like it kind of makes sense, but it just bothers me. That's so scary. Why do all these kids look so frightening to me? I <laughs> just, okay, this is actually, <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna go in a little bit on Barbie. This, oh my god, okay. So it's a hair fashion doll with colorful blonde hair, accessories, and clothes. Very nice description here. It's on Walmart, which is debatably a reputable site, but like, <laughs> it's very much giving like Amazon or like Timu or Shein, like every possible keyword in the title. Okay, but what caught my attention here is that she's got like a unicorn set. There's like a unicorn top and a unicorn headpiece, and then like a mermaid set with the top and headpiece. This is so funny because this is very much giving 2015 like mermaid versus unicorn debate. That was a big deal back then, especially amongst kids because I worked at Justice, like the little girl's clothing store at the time. And <laughs> we had so much stuff that was like mermaid versus unicorn or like here's all the unicorn stuff, but here's all the mermaid stuff. Like there was a big divide. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because this is taking me back to that time, which like is kind of comical, but also... It is 2024. Is this still relevant? Like, is this still a thing that's going on? Am I crazy for thinking this is wildly dated for Barbie to be releasing this? Like, I just don't know. The hair, actually, like, the hair on the crown kind of blends in really well. Like, way better than I thought it would. That actually does not look terrible like I thought it would. But just the overall concept is so bizarre to me. Like, truly, that it has to be over. Surely it's over at this point. This is a travesty. Hold on. This is what I'm talking about with like the quality on Barbie. Like what the f is this? <laughs> this like hideous molded on top. She's a Dreamtopia royal fashion doll. So like a fancy way of saying a princess doll. I mean, she has the tiara and everything. She ain't even got a poopy skirt. She's just got this lackluster straight nonsense. Not that like a straight skirt can't be cute, but good God, that's disappointing compared to like the princess dolls that I could get as a kid. Okay, I don't like the molded on everything, but she actually low key is cute. Like, it would be better in fabric, but the design overall is like not not too bad. What else have you got for me, Barbie? Hold on, I feel like I've just been attacked. <laughs> this is so much. <laughs> it's there's so many things it honestly like low-key looks like an aerial knockoff because we've got like the green top i know ariel has a purple top but like green is kind of ariel's sort of color green crown the red hair i'm so baffled by this choice of fabric on the skirt 
at Loki, I kind of like it. Like the rainbow floral is kind of a vibe, but just why would they execute it this way? It's different. I'll give them that. At least it's something, but I don't know if it's really better. Another one. Oh my gosh. They're really stepping up with like the prints on these leotards. That is so cute. Again, like same thing. She deserves at least some more articulation. But they're like low-key really good at designing leotards. I wonder if it's because it's like more normal for leotards to be like sparkly and out there with the prints and everything. So it feels more regular to see it that way. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of interesting. This ballerina too. Again, I, I don't like any of the molded on stuff just because I just don't feel like it's necessary. But the design's kind of cute. Okay, maybe Barbie is surprising me. Because, like, realistically speaking, design-wise, that's not that bad. This is not the vibe. Hello? What? I know this is for kids. Like, I truly do understand that. I understand that Barbie as a brand really caters towards their younger demographic. But, like, come on now. Even kids deserve better fashion than this. Mm -mm. Oh, that's interesting. Farm vet. That's very specific. That's kind of fun, actually. I don't like that the overalls are like printed with the shirt. Like that's all one piece of clothing. I don't love that. But I do think this is actually kind of a fun concept to not just be like the general like normal quote unquote vet doll with like the dog and the cat, but to be a farm vet doll with this little lamb with like the looks like a broken leg. That's like actually high key cute. I, I low key like that one a lot. And we've got the pop reveal fruit series. I don't even know if I've seen these. Like whenever I see a new like Barbie reveal dolls on Instagram or anything, I honestly just scroll because like I know they're always going to have some molded on something and like I know I'm never going to buy them. So I'm really out of the loop. That's kind of cute actually i just like the strawberry lemonade aspect that's actually kind of adorable are the other ones here oh the watermelon hold on Ugh, i wish these weren't molded on tops because that's like such cute theming they have articulation though which is nice i didn't expect that from a pop reveal doll again like i am severely out of touch in that regard but like i didn't expect that what's what are you, Great Fizz? Is that what I saw? Yeah, Great Fizz. Not as cute. I don't love the polka dots. But like, it's, it's kind of adorable. I kind of like that theming. Anyway, it's showing me other brands and that's not what I want. We're focused on Barbie today. This is a Barbie video. Ooh, there's another one. This is the Fruit Punch one. Wait, she's adorable. I actually love the base doll. The blue lips, that's so cute. Dang, I've been kind of sleeping on the Barbie Pop reveals. Again, like I, I cannot justify buying them, especially $20. I am not going to spend $20 on a doll with a molded on top. Nah, uh-uh. I say that, but I routinely spend $20 on Magic Mixies Pixlings. Huh. I'm not buying this doll for $20 <laughs> with a mold on top, but like, she actually is high key cute, not gonna lie. This, this is what I want. I mean, the leotard's not as cute, dang. But this articulation for a gymnast doll, I feel like is nice. Plus the playset with the balance beam and everything. Like that's, that's super cute. I feel like I, I don't usually like really play with my dolls. Like I kind of just enjoy looking at them or like redoing their hair, or their outfits or something. I don't like play in a playset sort of sense. Obviously no judgment if you do like be happy how you need to be happy. But if I was going to, I feel like this would tempt me because it's like kind of cute with the like balance beam and like the hoops and everything. That's a vibe. I, okay. Can I be honest about something? I don't get this. The whole like mini Barbie land thing. I, I truly, truly don't get it. 
not just these reveal ones, but like the mini play sets and everything. Again, as with everything, <laughs> like you're allowed to like it. I'm not judging you for liking it. I just don't, I just don't personally understand it. Again, that might be more because I buy dolls to enjoy them aesthetically. And like, this is so tiny that it's harder for me to enjoy it. I just don't like same thing with the like the original size Polly Pockets, like the tiny little Polly Pocket compacts. They're cute, but I just don't, I just don't get the vibe. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be ignorant for a second. This is out of stock, but like, we're going to take a look at it anyway. I I don't know who Celia Cruz is. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just honestly really out of touch in general. <laughs> but like, okay, it tells me on here, singer and the queen of salsa. That's fun. But like her outfit... Honestly, just the doll. She's beautiful. I don't know who this is. But this doll like genuinely makes me want to know who she is because this is such a pretty doll. That took me aback. I wasn't ready to see that. What a cutie. Okay, let's do one more page of like Barbie stuff proper and then I'll look at like maybe we'll do play sets or like doll houses and then we'll do like fashion packs and that'll be the video because I feel like I'm probably gonna fast forward through a lot of this to like not bore you guys I hope I'm not boring you anyway I feel like I kind of am but also this is supposed to be more of a low-key video and like just a little ooh look at this I didn't know that was there kind of thing so like if y'all get the vibes y'all get the vibes and hopefully it'll be fun for you okay that's actually also kind of cute hold on 65th anniversary careers pop star doll that's like she's kind of a vibe She's got the fun stand. She's got a cute little dress. She's got her Barbie guitar. Like, this is kind of cute. Dang, maybe I should be paying more attention to Barbie. I haven't seen anything yet that I'm like, oh, I want to buy this, like add to cart. But these are honestly like not as, oh, wow. I uh, was on the cusp of saying these are not as bad as I thought they would be. And then I saw this. Which is actually worse than I thought it would be. I, I, the top, like, I kind of like the idea of like the tight, like corded knit, but my God, it's molded on and it's so ugly. There's so many colors. I feel like the face mold is not for me. Wow, that's, that was an unpleasant surprise. Anyway, <laughs> continuing on. I actually really like this fashionistas. This is like maybe one of my favorite ones. Again, I don't know, like, I wouldn't buy her. I don't I don't know what it is with Barbie. I don't know why I hold other brands to, like, a different standard. Because I like the Magic Mixies Pixlings, even though they have molded on tops. But maybe that's because they have more, like, fantasy theming, so it's, like, a little bit more interesting to me. And, like, this, like, I love her outfit. I just don't like that she doesn't have articulation. That really, like, genuinely bothers me. I don't know. She's cute, though. Like, the design. That's low-key sick. Hold on. That's so fun. Stacy. Okay, so this is like a slightly younger one. I love this though. Cuz the design is still very like fun and funky. But like I don't know, there's just something about this that feels really wholesome. This like ties more into the Barbiecore video that I was talking about. This feels slightly more Barbiecore where it's like silly and goofy but also it's still a functioning go-kart. Like she's still going to the track and she's going to kick ass. This is a five. The dog doesn't need to be there. I'm sorry. Dog does not need to be there. I don't think that um, dogs should be in go-karts. Maybe that's a controversial opinion, but that just feels like something that's like inherently a little bit dangerous and maybe like you should not be putting your dog in a go-kart. Other than that, though, this is cute. This is a very small horse. <laughs> sorry, just like scale-wise. Isn't that kind of tiny for a horse? I feel like real horses compared to people are... Are they bigger? Am I crazy? I don't know anything about horses. I probably shouldn't be talking shit. Okay. The <laughs> Again. <laughs> this is just like the pilot one, but this one comes with a plane, which is more fun because it's a plane, but also is objectively more horrifying. Toddlers they cannot fly planes. <laughs> and like, is it fun and imaginative and silly? Am I being ridiculous? Maybe that's the case. That's just, that is kind of goofy to me. Again, with the dog, though, like, a plane like this, a dog definitely should not be in. Like, I understand flying with your pets on, like, a commercial airline, but the open-topped plane, your dog's gonna fall out. I know there's harnesses. 
I'm taking this way too literally. <laughs> if Tony were here, he would tell me I was being. My autism was showing. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to uh, Barbie dolls and doll houses. Oh, shoot. Hello. I just want to get back to the landing page where I was at before. Why are you taking this away from me? Okay, let's look at doll play sets. I don't know why doll houses and vehicles is separate from play sets, but we're just going to go with the play sets. Okay, yeah, they're showing me, like, the house anyway. $200 almost. Damn, that's a lot. But, I mean, that actually is kind of a sick doll house. I mean, I'm sure tons of the stuff inside is, like, just, you know, like, printed on the walls and stuff. It doesn't look like there's that much for it, but... Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no, I'm being tempted. <laughs> oh no. I genuinely, just because like there's a whole connected slide and like a hanging chair and everything. And like the little pool. <sighs> I cannot be tempted by this. I, I don't need to spend $200 on a Barbie house. Especially because in my head, I'm like, this would be sick as <laughs> to completely like strip down and repaint and add new stuff to it and make it a Monster High playset. The slide got me, okay? That's ultimately what did it. <laughs> That's so fun, though. God, this, this is a terrible idea. There's an elevator and a slide, and now I want to spend $200 on a Barbie house to gut it and do something different. <laughs> what a horrible thing to click on. I should have been smarter. Oopsies. Oh, <laughs> I've almost bought this before. I don't like the doll at all, but it comes with a bunch of little plastic cats. So, of course, I want it. <laughs> It's cute, though. The little cat condo with the babies. Look at the kitties. Ah, This one's showing you his butt. I love cats so much. I don't need it, but like, would I buy it low-key? Yeah. Ooh, okay. We have a fashion closet. Does it come with anything actually fashionable? I need to stop leaning back and getting comfortable because I'm going to get too far away from my mic. I need to be sat straight and uncomfortable. It has, it has to actually come with clothes, right? You're not. No. There's no way it's empty, actually. Hold on. Where's the description? I'm never, like, on my iPad <laughs> when I'm, like, shopping online for stuff. So I, I'm very, like, unused to the layout. It's kind of funny. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Includes portable closet and six hangers. Doll fashions and accessories not included? That is crazy. I mean, it is only $20, so I guess I shouldn't have expected that much. But I, what, like, I feel like it'd be so much more fun to buy a closet with some clothes than, like, just a closet. I guess kids might already have a lot, or, like, even adult collectors might already have a lot, but I, I also don't like that there's clothing printed onto, like, the backside of it. That's weird. Okay. I'm not, not a fan of that one. Oh, interesting. I know I was like talking in my video that I keep referencing about Barbie core and like everything being pink and fun. It feels very weird to see a Barbie barn that is like red instead of hot pink. Look at all the animals though. That's like fun. I mean, I kind of wish the barn was more complete and there was like a little bit more like a whole building instead but like that's that's low-key kind of sick you get so many different animals and like little accessories and stuff <gasps> oh my god the corn like pops on and off that's fun <laughs> me my idea of fun popping off fake corn and pretending to harvest it but listen like that's actually low-key kind of cool i did not expect this from barbie this kind of goes hard though i kind of love that Oh, that's fun. Oh, a while ago now, I did a video on old Barbie play sets that like, I thought were incredible. This is like a simplified version of one of those that I talked about. But that's still really fun, actually. Oh my gosh, is there real sand it comes with? It looks like 
this little thing here. That's sand. So you can actually play in the, okay, that kind of goes hard. That's kind of cool. Damn, man. I should be paying more attention to Barbie. I am, I'm out of, am I being converted? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> I really was like going into this video thinking, okay, we did a nice positive video on Barbie. Now it's going to be time to like shit on Barbie and it'll be hilarious. But this low key, like these are really cool. <laughs> Uh, okay, art studio. That's what I clicked on. Wait, this is so precious. Again, like the actual doll. I don't love that she doesn't have the bend in the elbows and like everything's printed on. But like, she comes with a little easel and like a little pottery set. There's actual Play-Doh in there so you can play along. That's it. That kind of is amazing. Wait, why is this low key good? Oh, oh my god, I keep clicking on the ones that have like Play-Doh and shit, but. Sorry? This is like a Play-Doh set to make fake foods, but like you get a whole Barbie and everything with it. I feel like a different person in this video. I, I don't know who I am anymore. I'm the person who doesn't like Barbie very much, at least not modern Barbie, and I don't like play sets. And yet. <laughs> Here I am thinking, why is this $111? No, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> but thinking like, these are actually really sick play sets. This has got to be like a secondhand seller though on, yeah, sold and shipped by Beta Z LLC. That explains it. Because I was like, there's absolutely no way. Ooh, hold on. This is also cute. Like, Dang, this is for, is this, yeah, this is for the My First Barbie. So like the Barbies that are aimed at a younger demographic and I believe are slightly bigger than normal Barbies. But this is actually a really cute little tea set. There's so many little pieces, which, hold on, actually feels a little bit counterintuitive to My First Barbie. Because like the whole point is that it's for, again, a much younger demographic, like your first Barbie, your first kind of foray into fashion dolls. So having teensy weensy little chokeable forks feels... Maybe not like the smartest idea, but like taking that aside, this is actually really cute. The bear chairs are adorable. And I like all the little, wow, damn. At least in the playset arena, Barbie might still be killing it. This is not what I expect. They have a helicopter? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm so used to seeing like Barbie planes and I don't, this is just so dip. I can't even talk. I cannot even talk because <laughs> I'm so taken aback. That's sick. My, my husband's going to get home and I'm going to be like, yo, babe, let's go to Walmart. And he's going to be like, oh, for what? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more page of this and then we'll do some fashions and I'll stop boring y'all. That's actually cute. A dorm room playset, a couch, a couple little beds. That's like, that's actually really adorable. There's like the backdrop and everything. That's, oh, wow, shoot. I, I have been, I've been sleeping on Barbie. Gosh, I hate being wrong, but like also, stop, a puppy playground. That's so, like, I'm a cat person, but that's so cute. My heart hurts a little bit. Like, this is lame, okay? Like, this pool, compared to some of the older pools that we've discussed on this channel, this is not a fun Barbie pool. So they're still not 100% there, but, like, they've definitely got more bangers than I thought they did. <laughs> the little kitty cat set with fish. <laughs> That's cute. It's just because it's a cat, though. I'm easily influenced in that way. Sorry. Why does Chelsea need her own camper? She's not old enough to have this. <laughs> I, again, I'm getting really hung up on, like, the particulars. I guess, like, 
I don't know if they're making this because they want to like target the demographic that plays with Chelsea dolls instead of like Barbies or like in addition to Barbies or whatever, or if they're doing this because everything is smaller so they can use less plastic so they can sell it for cheaper. Cause like this is already $40. So I imagine an actual Barbie sized version will be more expensive. I'd be curious to know what the, what the logic behind these Chelsea in adult situations sets is, but uh, okay. That's it for that. That's it for words. The play set. <laughs> let's go back. And let's look at doll clothing. I'm curious to see what sort of fashion packs they have going on here. That one's actually cute. This pink one in the middle. Dang. That's like high key adorable. I love the print on that. The shoes or whatever, but the dress. That's sick. They've got like Alan's outfit. Love that. I like that the barbecue is considered clothing now. <laughs> Ooh, I actually did see this set, this purple one, in store the other day. It was like just on a shelf. Like someone had just like put it down, right? That that one actually is really cute. I love the bandana top. This is this is not the vibe. Individual pieces, pretty solid. However. I don't know. Altogether, I don't know about that one. Oh, that's kind of fun. Guys, I don't know what's happening to me. Help me. <laughs> I'm enjoying this and I'm scared. <laughs> like this too? The tie dress especially? Like this one, the other one's kind of, I don't know. That's in the cherry one. Did I switch universes? Am I in a parallel universe? I'm so confused. Okay, this one's ugly though. To me, sorry. This one's ugly to me. So there's some validation there. This is also not good to me. Ew, and this, no. No, Barbie deserves better when she does fantasy. Okay, so I'm not completely crazy. Like Barbie is still doing some shit, but like that is cute. The little blue two piece and I don't know about the shorts, the shorts, but like the, Yo, I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, that's cute, actually. Like, the dress itself is cute, but also I like the idea that it comes with, like, a little bag. Like, it's like a bag that you can stick it all in. That's kind of fun. Oh, the garden playset with the bunny, too? Not clothing. Don't know why it's in this category. But that's also really cute. I'm so confused. I got too excited and my camera battery died. So I don't know what I said last, but this Jurassic World set, high key cute. I really like the Jurassic Park movies. I also am a little bit like biased because when Tony proposed, he proposed after we went to go see one of the Jurassic World movies. So like, it does just have a really positive connotation in my head. That's really cute. And this one next to it too, with the green little like romper situation. Also very cute. What is going on? I'm... I'm genuinely so like pleasantly baffled. Oh my gosh, there's more. Look, a little romper with dinosaurs. Oh, shoot. And all the sunflower stuff. Yo, I'm about to spend <laughs> like $70 on Barbie fashion packs. Not actually, like no judgment if you do, but like uh, I am not going to do that. I ain't got the money for that right now. But also, some of these are actually really cute. Like this? That like orange and black set, oh, holy shit! I actually do need that, like expeditiously. Dang, dang! This is so <gasps> the butterflies. I'm screaming. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be screaming, but oh my god! I wish the Barbie shoes fit more dolls because I feel like you can reasonably get Barbie clothes on a lot of dolls, even if it doesn't fit exactly. It's like it'll kind of work. I wish the shoes would fit as well. Because, like, if I buy these fashion packs, I'm not going to have any shoes. Because I, I don't have that many Barbie dolls. Like, I can't put it on Barbie dolls. I'll have to put it on another. Oh, oh another one. Another, another Jurassic World one. Yo, I'm losing it. I'm straight up losing my mind here. Wait, why is this kind of... I like the coat. I don't like the other stuff. But the coat is, like, high-key sick. This little accessory pack, I don't... I I do not like primarily love accessories 
But this is actually cute. The idea of like doing a little filming, like get ready with me with your makeup. That's oh, shoot. Okay, one more page. One more page. This is so bad. This is so bad for my wallet. But there's so many cute things. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of Jurassic World ones. I have one on my Amazon wish list, but I didn't realize there were so many more. This is not a fashion pack, but I do just want to highlight this. I feel like this line, the BMR 1959, a lot of people really didn't like. I thought that they were pretty solid dolls. Like they were kind of fun. I am interested to see that like it's still just available. But like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel like they were that bad. Midge and baby. This is, this is an old one. I mean, it says 2003. That's definitely, again, like a reseller or not. I shouldn't say that. Cause like, I don't know that they're a reseller, but it's like not Walmart themselves. It's like a, a different person selling on their site. That's interesting though. Huh? Mm, I don't like that. That one, I, mm -mm, no, thank you. Not a fan. Wait, hold on. Is this, this is also definitely older. Like the, just the style looks older. Right? Yeah, TKT Trading Inc. So yeah. That also doesn't look like a Barbie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This is under, I mean, you can see right here. It's under the Barbie. This is my fancy life, trendy sweetie. I, this is not a Barbie. This is, I'm almost certain this is not a Barbie. Hold on, what's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A pool? A fun pool? <gasps> a fun pool. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a fun pool. That's very interesting though, that the other one was listed as being Barbie. That was not Barbie. Like almost assuredly, that was not Barbie. And it makes me question whether the one in the beginning where I was like, this kind of looks like a knockoff. Was it? Can I trust it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm actually keeping that up. Loki, like that's kind of a fun pool. Look at this set with the dinosaurs. Oh my God. I'm excited. It's so cute. Okay, sorry. It, that one's really cute. Oh, shoot. I got the flappy hands. Okay, we should we do one more? I'm, I might not. I might not put this in. I'm gonna do one more. I can't stop now. I'm like excitable. Maybe I should have stopped though. These are looking kind of rougher. That one's kind of fun from the Olympic Games 2020. It's cute though. Huh? The poncho. That's kind of a vibe actually. More Jurassic World. I love dinosaurs. That one's definitely not as cute as some of the other ones. Stop it. Stop it. That's adorable. I actually kind of like this tie-dye set too. That's fun. Wow. Okay. I actually do need to stop so that I, <laughs> I don't get sucked further down the wormhole. This has been an eye-opening experience for sure. Like... There's so much more stuff that is genuinely cute that I did not expect to like. Okay, so that was not what I expected at all. I really genuinely expected this video to be like the antithesis of my Barbie core video. And I really thought I was going to go in and be like, look at how ugly all these Barbies are. And like, there were plenty that were ugly. Okay, like there were so many, there were so many that I like didn't even click on because I was just like, it's not fun to talk about, but I don't love it. But also, there were so many cool things on the Barbie section of Walmart's website that I was not anticipating at all. Like those fashion packs and play sets, especially. Holy shit. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy. Like I, I just genuinely like never knew that those were there. I never knew that that was a thing because the whole point of this video was that I'm not up to speed with what Barbie's producing. And those have told me I need to be more aware of what's coming out in the Barbie aisle because shockingly, there's like some hidden gems in there. And I feel like I'm being so mean even saying that, being like, oh, it's a shock. But like, I, I just didn't expect this from Barbie. I didn't expect there to be so many things that I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And I guess there might be more Barbie things coming up on the channel. Like, I don't know for sure if I'll buy anything that we saw today, at least like immediately. I'm probably going to get some of the fashion packs eventually though, because some of those are really cool. But like, just in general, 
I feel like this has opened my eyes to like, maybe I should be more aware of Barbie and like, maybe I should be more into Barbie. So, um, not what I intended this video to be, but very fascinating nonetheless. I do hope you guys enjoyed. It is like definitely a different style of video from what I normally create. Definitely like more laid back and just kind of like, oh, let's see where this video takes us. Because I didn't look beforehand, obviously. That would kind of spoil the fun of it. But um, yeah, I hope you're able to enjoy. Nonetheless, let me know what your favorite thing is that we found on the Walmart website today. But other than that, guys, that's all for me. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>